wanted a community of friends that were like me. And, you know, in a place like Orange County, it's maybe harder to find people like that. I feel as if we were never really that far from New York City, even though we were living in Boston. We feel our job for the Boston Club is bring people together, have a nice time. The time and the effort that I dedicate to Columbia is truly a labor of love. I commend all of you for gathering here from far and wide, and in some cases, very close. Stephen Kane. My friends and I, our parents would let us go on college tours by ourselves. Columbia was not the one I wanted to see, but when I walked on campus, it was like, wow, this place is great. This was you know, New York City in the mid to late 70s, not the greatest place in the world. Um, and yet, you see this haven, this little island within the city, which is in some ways, separate from the city, yet part of the city. I like to say I majored in ultimate frisbee and took some classes on the side. Um, I, I played ultimate frisbee. It was a new sport, relatively new sport in the, at the time. We might have played 10 or 15 games when I was a freshman. And then when I was a captain, by my senior year, we were probably playing 30, 35 games. So we got two or three business school people, two or three law school people, two or three PhDs. In a lot of ways, that frisbee team that I was on, we were maybe a big tent before our time. And to this day, Weekend after Labor Day, every weekend, we get together and we still play a game against each other. We're a lot slower than we were back then, but we still get together and play. I interview high school students applying to Columbia, and I tell them how important the core is. You know, it's been around since 1918, right after World War I. I've taken the same courses as my son who went here. I mean, they've opened it up to more women writers, they've been opening it up to more other cultures too, which are very important. In law school, I was an intern for Legislative Drafting Research Fund, and Frank, Professor Frank Rad, who ran that, you know, always said, if, if you want to be influential, be willing to do the work. Columbia had a regional club in Boston, and so I volunteered to set up basketball, coordinate basketball games when, when Columbia plays Harvard every, every semester. Then I became president of that board of CAA Boston in 2008. For six years, I've served on the national CAA board. What CAA has done to bring people together has been absolutely fantastic. At least once a year, we'll have a professor come up and talk. And we get these great talks. We had Professor Jeremy McManus from Lamont Doherty come up. He's a paleoclimatologist. He tries to figure out ice ages. We had 80 people come up and just pepper him with questions. The Boston Club is trying to bring people in and engage them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the alumni medalists. A guy like Brian Crisberg, um, a guy like um, Keith Goggins, they have done a lot of work, but a lot, much, 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 much more time than I have. And so to be considered with them in that peer group uh, for winning the alumni medal was really, really an honor for me. Anthony Agoni. I look at my educational experience as weightlifting. It's weightlifting for the brain. And your brain comes out thinking very differently than when you went in. You're a problem solver. Um, you're not afraid of complexity. In fact, everything seems simple after engineering school. I'm the first person in my family to ever finish high school. I was more or less living in a van, and somehow Columbia took a chance on me and turned a street kid into what I am today. So I got my very first bill from Columbia, and I looked at it and said, gee, that's a lot of money. How am I going to come up with $5,000? On the same day, somebody said, hey, do you own that truck? I'm like, yeah. Goes, Would you help me move a piano? Within a month of then, I had a thriving business called Have Truck, Will Travel. Then when you get to the business school, you're getting to rarefied air. I think the most impactful class, single class that I had taken, was called Speech, Pronunciation and Voice. You know, it was a tough class, but guess what? I can't even fake the Guido accent very well anymore. My Columbia commitment is not a new commitment. It's something that I made to myself because of my upbringing, because of the opportunity that's been afforded me, is that I want to contribute to the world. I was in a small market, Orange County. There really was no alumni presence, alumni network, alumni club in that area at that time. There was in Los Angeles. When the CAA was founded, they wanted to set up a, an association and clubs committee. And what that would do was to rationalize their club system. So I was asked to found that committee. I liked setting up websites, bank accounts, structures. Mother stayed on Rocky Turtle.
ground and set upon a height. I was excited to see their faces and remembering when I was there throwing my mortarboard in the air. In thy radiance we see. Martha Romney, better known as Marty. I was a staff nurse in a pediatric emergency room, and I was looking for the opportunity to expand my skills and uh, be able to have a broader range of practice. When the Columbia offer came, it was too good to turn down. The reputation of the school, the excellence of the education, and the clinical experience is, is really superb. We were in a program specifically uh, focused on training us to be pediatric nurse practitioners. As Columbia nurses, we learn to think very strategically. Uh, our assessment skills and our listening skills and our communication skills were greatly enhanced. It was empowering to go to the hospital and wear a white coat instead of a, a nursing uniform. I am on the board of the Columbia Club of Philadelphia. I think we have seven decades of alums and we are all from different programs. At the school level, I would like for all alum to know that this is their home and this is their university, and whether they've been actively engaged or haven't been actively engaged, they are always welcome. I also had the privilege of representing the School of Nursing on the Columbia Alumni Association. Most recently, I was asked to represent the School of Nursing on the Alumni Trustee Nominating Committee. So every opportunity that I have to come back to Columbia, I'm, I'm pleased to do so. It just enhances the university to have the cross-disciplinary and cross-program component. The new school nursing building, there are places for students to congregate. There are auditoriums where lectures and programs can be convened. There are state-of-the-art simulation labs. We have the expertise to produce some of the best men and women in nursing who are the next generation of clinicians and scholars. Commencement day was magical. I have the privilege of knowing a number of the past recipients, including my colleagues in the School of Nursing. So to be offered an award that they have received was extremely humbling. Sherry Panzer Wolf Columbia College. Congratulations. I grew up in a small town in New Jersey. I didn't realize what a sheltered upbringing I had until I got to campus. I met my husband here, Doug Wolf. We happened to live together in the same suite in Hartley. I feel as if many of our friends and family members get you know, a little annoyed with us because we, we do talk about Columbia so much. I decided in the second semester to take my first economics class. I took the class that was offered by Sunil Gulati. He makes the subject matter really relatable. On top of that, it was 1987, and it was the first stock market crash that we had had since 1929. So we were able to relate the economic theory to what was happening in the stock market that day. I loved my art humanities class. It helped me to get to a new place, just a greater appreciation, understanding, more connections to the world around me. Our daughter is going to be starting in the fall, and Doug and I are both excited that you know we'll be able to talk about the core curriculum and the books and the classes and the artwork and the music and discuss what it means to her versus what it what it had meant to us. When we were first living in the Boston area, there was a Columbia club of Boston, but it really wasn't as far-reaching as we felt it should be. We were excited to sort of be liaisons and try to help as best we could to push things out to some of the other regions. I'm president of Columbia College Women. We had a celebration of 30 years of co-education at Columbia. It was really a fantastic event. When I come on campus, I just have a much larger network of, of people that I'm, I'm friendly with and I enjoy and who we see. I like to think of myself as being sort of a global citizen, someone who thinks beyond just the borders of my own community. Um, I think a lot of that came from my experience here and, and the perspective that I was given. It feels really good to give back. Who are celebrating not only their own graduation, but the 30th anniversary of the first fully co-educational graduating class of Columbia College. When the college students stood up, I feel a kinship with them. They don't even know how much opportunity they have available to them now because of the degree that they received. So um, I feel like they, they have, you know, so, so much to look forward to.